multiple cities across the United States are imposing emergency curfews. This also comes as cities are struggling, stores are struggling, businesses are struggling, and are still boarded up. Dozens and dozens of businesses, Aldi boarded up, Aldi looted, boarded up, and they're saying, come back. We will cover all this stuff because people are struggling. There's an aftermath to all this stuff that happens. It doesn't just happen and it's gone. People are sitting there with their livelihoods ruined. All right. So let's dive into what's going on here. There's lots of big stuff and dozens of stores still closed. People can't access their common stores that they go to. And also multiple cities around the country are declaring emergency curfew scenarios and are restricting travel and are saying you are going to be pulled over and searched if we find you outside during these curfew hours all right so let's get into what's going on multiple cities all over the country we're going to hit let's get into what's happening in arkansas first though all right and arkansas city is enforcing emergency curfew after quote rampage of if this is December 31st, 2022, out of ABC News, it says officials in the city of Eudora, Arkansas, said that they are enforcing a mandatory emergency curfew after struggling to stop what the city's mayor described as a, quote, rampage. In a statement to ABC News, Butler said that the frequency of these are unprecedented, adding that this is the first time these acts of this magnitude have taken place. Quote, should you be caught during curfew hours, you will be subject to be stopped and search but were said in a video posted on facebook in which four law enforcement officers stood behind them so emergency curfew and this is also being proposed in atlanta as well for a very similar situation very similar um, reason they are saying we need to impose curfews restrict travel all this stuff for almost the same reason in Atlanta here. So here's the headline. This is December 20th. So this Arkansas town declared it just a few days ago um, over Christmas and everything, this emergency curfew. And a few days before Christmas, Atlanta leaders proposed curfew lockbox, lockboxes to curb violence, to curb you-know-what violence. So this is coming out of Axios, Atlanta, December 20th. All right, so multiple cities, we are seeing this around the country, are saying that we need to impose curfews because of this problem. They're saying this is a big problem, apparently, and we need to restrict travel. And they're, and they're saying right here, should you be caught during curfew hours, you will be subject to being stopped and searched. So your, uh, your amendment rights do not apply during these curfews apparently either because they're you know it's an emergency anytime it's an emergency you they take your rights away all right so you could be stopped and search and atlanta is proposing it too and it's it's just strange how different cities all around the country um this always happens at the same time all right here's another one that they are proposing for children in philadelphia they're proposing a curfew for children and teens and it's for the same reason. That's all the same reason here is to stop this uh, specific kind of violence that they want to stop. Cambridge officials continue discussion of a juvenile curfew. All right. This was in Maryland. So, so we got Arkansas. We got Georgia. We got Pennsylvania. Now we have Maryland proposing the same thing December 13th. This is all around the same time. Philadelphia, December 2nd. Maryland, December 13th, juvenile curfew, and St. Louis, December 9th, proposing a teen curfew to stop violence as well, all right? So it it seems like this is spreading. Let's get into what's going on with these businesses here, and they're boarding up, and they're being looted and shut down, all right? So looting closes down Aldi grocery store on Broadway in Buffalo. So cities all over the country stuff like this is happening all right and we can see here this aldi is boarded up and shut down all the windows were broken uh it was looted all right stuff destroyed and they ended up just donating whatever was left in the store for christmas all right i guess make the best of a bad situation that's the best thing you could do 
but it's kind of sad that we have to get to this point. So the owner of the Aldi grocery store at 998 Broadway on Buffalo's east side hasn't disclosed with employees whether the store will remain closed according to a source with knowledge of the situation who wasn't authorized to speak. Chatter began on social media that the store would be closed permanently, leaving the area with one less grocery store, but the source said the employees haven't heard from the CEO about the shutdown for good. And it says, the store was one of the businesses looted during the winter storm. Buffalo Police Commissioner said at a press conference earlier in the week that he didn't know a total number yet of businesses that were affected throughout the Queen City, but said that, quote, there is a significant impact on the east side. So dozens and dozens and dozens of stores were looted and are still shut down. So all these other people, they stayed in their house during the storm. They did what they're supposed to do. And then there was a bunch of people that went and destroyed these businesses, sadly. And now the people that just stayed home, they can't even go to the store, right? They can't go to the store and get what they need because the stores have been looted, ransacked. There's nothing left. And look at these stores all over Buffalo, New York, that are still boarded up. A lot of these uh, some of these pictures are from just yesterday, all right? So still boarded up Dollar General, all right? Still boarded up an Aaron's Furniture Store, okay? It looks like the front door was busted and tried to loot. Some local stores here, Some looks like some local restaurants, uh, things like that, were also looted, okay? I saw a report with a local restaurant owner, and he showed video of... People just smashing all his uh, cash boxes for his registers. They were just ripping them out, smashing them, trying to get money from his restaurant in the middle of this, right? And we're just destroying things in the process. So there's dozens and dozens, at least potentially hundreds of businesses that have been ransacked, looted, destroyed. And it's, where's, like, who's reporting on this, right? Who's reporting these people have been devastated? And it wasn't even from the weather. It was from our own neighbors, right? This is sad that this is how it gets to when there's an emergency, right? People knew that the cops couldn't go. People knew that the police couldn't respond. Ambulances couldn't respond. They knew the emergency services were lagging and they took advantage. And that's what will potentially happen in almost any city in America, almost any big city, we could see people taking advantage during an emergency. All right. So you need to be prepared. Dollar Tree, Family Dollar here, another one. You could see this guy putting um, wood on this door that was busted out at a Family Dollar. All right. So this is happening all over Buffalo and no one's reporting on this. I, c I could barely find any mainstream news on this this is all local news and people just posting their pictures on twitter and stuff like that dollar general boarded up too all right so dozens and dozens of businesses have been ransacked destroyed multiple cities all over the country are declaring curfew scenarios and saying this is an emergency we need to curb violence what's going on with our society why is our society deteriorating essentially okay and you need to be prepared be prepared be prepared and be able to protect yourself okay you need to be able to protect yourself and your family this is critical it's stores now but once all the stores are ransacked in a real scenario then the houses start getting ransacked next okay and we don't want to be in that scenario let's hope that never happens but it, it already happened just from a snowstorm in a major city in America, societal deterioration. And you need to be pro be protected and be able to defend yourself and defend your home, right? That's not a bad thing. So make sure you have a home security plan. Make sure you have cameras, alarms, and self-defense, everything you need for yourself to protect you and your family in a situation like this all right so get prepared now guys hit that like hit that thumbs up have you heard about any of these stories going on did you hear about these curfews did you hear this mainstream media blackout going on in buffalo of all these businesses that have been absolutely devastated hit that like if you didn't hit that sub for me and i hope you guys have a big old blessed day thank you